Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises. Honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushah Bashim Rukakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to all the brothers in his work and truth and sincerity. Okay, Shalom. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. You know, and that's and that's something that's very simple, something that we must do. We must continue in the doctrine which we have learned from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who we believe are the true men of the Lord, the true prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You know, we believe those men are the real men of the Lord and coming back in the reincarnation through the spirit. You know, if you're able to receive it. Because they teach the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. They don't cut no corners. They don't cut no edges. They, get, they tell you what it is, and they tell you what it, they tell you straight, man. Because that's straight, raw, and uncut, man. That's that's how you will want it, you know. They tell you the truth, and like the scripture said, was well, like like people say in the world, the truth hurts, man. You know. This, this uh, scripture has been on my mind all day, you know, continuing in the things which we have learned, knowing who we learned them from, which we learned them from the elders and apostles of, of Great Millstone. You know, this is verse 15 from that and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith in which is in Hamashiach. So we we have known the holy scriptures. You know, because we are being brought up. You know, we are being basically, when you enter into the truth, you you are reborn. And when you're reborn, you, you start to grow. And you basically, basically, you're a child. But you start to grow and you learn. And, you, you know, and these scriptures make us wise unto salvation. You know, because these scriptures tell us everything that we may need to uh, be delivered. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not is not in vain in the Lord. So that's another precept concerning what we must do in order to receive salvation. We must do these things. You know, like Yahweh Shah said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, man, because... All you got to do is apply yourself, man. Apply yourself, you know. Because this, this truth is not hard, man. You know, you know, it's not an easy walk. You know, it's not an easy walk. But the things that are required of us are doable. You know, the Lord, they ain't asking for much, man. You know, because from too much is given, much is required, man. You know, but those men, the apostles, they only ask for three videos a week, man. You know, you at least could do that. You know, that's not hard. You know, don't make it grievous because these these things of the Bible are not grievous, man. You know, um, I was gonna get a precept. This is Hebrews three thirteen. I heard this precept and I just had to get it. Uh, but exhort one another daily while it is yet while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And that's something that's very important. You know, when I heard this precept, I was like, I gotta I gotta remember that precept, man, because we gotta exhort one another each every day because Satan Satan don't sleep, man. You know, Satan is always trying to get in somewhere to distract you or, you know, make you do this. You might wanna you might wanna read or you might wanna do a lesson. Then you mess around and forget because Satan don't distract you, you know. Satan threw something your way and you just, it got your attention because Jake attention span is it's not too too uh <laughs> that's just Jake man our attention span is not good man you know but um I'm gonna read this again Hebrews 3 and 13 but exhort one another daily while it while it is called today because the day is gonna come well we ain't gonna be able to click on YouTube or charge up our phones or get on the internet period there ain't gonna be a no electricity period out here man you know it's gonna be you and these elements out here and this death that's out here you know waiting on you man you know it's just gonna be 
a whole bunch of wickedness out here. You know, things gonna be happening at a at a um, all time high, if you will. You know, it's gonna be people robbing each other, killing each other, trying to eat. You know, people gonna be starving. You know, it's gonna be hell out here. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin, because what Satan will do is he will get in your mind and make you not want to do something. You know. You be you might want to do a lesson, but then he throw that de- he he allow that demon to come fuck with you, and you just be hardened. You don't be want to do it, but through the spirit you endure and you do it and you do do it, because you know the the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. You know the flesh is weak. You may want to do a video, but then you fuck around and forget or whatever the case may be. You know, and you deceitfully and you deceit and the Satan deceit you deceive you to do something else other than what you wanted to do or what you was intended to do you know because satan always out here you know trying to get us to fall out trying to get us to focus on other things you know trying to take our minds off the truth you know which you know you can't always be you know meditating daily you know doing you can't be basically in the work 24 7 you know you do have your downtime you know you might watch a movie or something you know, but because you can't, you'll bug yourself out trying to be in these scriptures 24-7, you know. You know, being over-righteous is not good, you know, in this society, man. You know, because you'll bug yourself out, you know. You can't be over-righteous. Why should I destroy thyself? Because if you be over-righteous, that's going to destroy you, man. That's going to be to your destruction. And you're going to bug out. You're going to try to go too deep and then your mind is going to go, you're going to go over the edge. That's another you know, because you got to keep things balanced, man. You know. Um, I don't have any other precepts right now. I mean, you know, the spirit to give me some more precepts concerning what I want to talk about. You know, we got to con- we got to we got to continue on the things which we have learned, you know, because these words are faithful and true. Wait, faithful and true a lot this is a uh, second edge chapter 15 verse 2 and caused them to re- be written in paper for they are faithful and true, you know, because these words that the scriptures speak, you know, they are faithful and true. So we must have, we must retain and we must keep that faith that Yahweh Bashem Shah has stowed upon us. We must continue in the things which we have learned, knowing who we have learned from, you know, because, you know, you have men out here that are set up to deceive. You have men, you have men out here that are set up to deceive you, you know, if you don't watch your step. You might stumble across their video, you know, or listen to that bullshit that they speaking, which they talking out the crack of their ass, you know. They speaking, they they speak in vain words, you know. They're not speaking the truth, so that's why you gotta be careful, you know, because there are deceitful ass niggas out here, you know. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson, man, you know, not too serious, not too, you know, straight to the point. You know, straight to the point, you know, just trying to be in the spirit and Paul Yahweh Shemel Shah, which was, you know, this lesson concerning something that been on my spirit, continuing in the things which we